your name out there? Well, basically, it's out, I think it's out there in the UK because I'm, I'm not yeah. like a pop star there. Exactly, oh. you're big, you're a big time guy. Right. You're like a mega star. You're living large. All right, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm compliment. saying? You know no, what I'm I, saying? Because don't you want that same type of celebrity? over there to, to translate over here. Exactly, I do. Well, that's what, that's what I'm really shooting for this time around. I have a, a new single out now, you know, called You Don't Know, and I have my album coming out March 10th. And this album is really, really, really what I always wanted to do. You know, I've done things in the past what I wanted to do, but the crea creativity of this album is really, I mean, more global than the other, al the other two albums that I have. We have, um, have good dance material on the album. Mm -hmm. I'm a part of the acid jazz movement now. So I have a lot of my songs on the album are sort of jazz, dance orientated, and I have good ballads. So um, I'm going to be well known this time around here in the States. All right, well, let me ask you about the acid jazz because you um, are one of the architects of yes. house music. And when I say that, and this is something that you say yourself, you say, I was there in the beginning before Chicago. Exactly. Before right. everything else. So right. I, why doesn't everybody know that? Well, I think the, the, the new people on the scene with the house music don't know that. Mm -hmm. The originators, the people from the old school know that. I mean, like the old DJs, I mean, from way, way back, the originals, uh, like uh, T. Scott and Tony Humphrey and Timmy Regis Ford and Larry Patterson, and, you know, these guys, um, they, they know exactly, you know, how it started. Because actually house music started in the house. You know, we were in the house and we were recording this back in New York mm -hmm. and it was me and three other guys and we got together and I was the first vocal, uh, house, house vocal ever heard. So we did it on an A-track, you know, we did it, it was Timmy, myself, Marston, my brother, and Boy Jarvis. And then what happened, we went to the clubs with it and then we took it to radio and we took it to radio in the clubs and it was such a big scene that after a while, a lot of other cities started to, to like notice Chicago. what we were doing. Exactly. So this is a bit of musical history that you may be hearing for the first time right here on Video LP. So I think it's important that we get that out. Well, it should be heard right here. All right, first. you heard it. <laughs> we're also about to hear from a viewer in St. Louis, I believe. Her St. name is Lisa. All right. And uh, she wants to talk to you. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? Hi, Sherry. Hey. Hi, Colonel Abrams. How you doing? Do you Lisa? have a question or a comment for Colonel? Yes, I do. I wanted to ask Colonel Abrams, what about his performance? or his music that he did when he first started that he would change to make it better now? Well, I think actually the, the better part of it now, Lisa, is that my music now is becoming even more aggressive. You know, and I think this, this time around, I think it's from different from the last time around, is that music changes. And today, now music changes, I mean, constantly. I and mean, you hear music on the radio today, and then maybe next week, it's a totally different scene. Right. So I think the aggressiveness of it, and yeah. you know, it's going to really touch more and more people. Well, good. Well, what we're going to do right now is kind of take a uh, walk back through time, down like memory lane. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to take a look at one of your big, big songs. As a matter of fact, I think it went number one and number two in Europe. Mm -hmm. Do you know what song I'm talking about? Trapped. Trapped. We're going to take a look at it right now.